Let us do a problem now on Lee Chandler's principle. The reaction is given to us that nitrogen reacts with 3 moles of hydrogen to form 2 moles of ammonia. The enthalpy sign here is negative, which shows that the forward reaction is exothermic. Now, the question is, what will be the effect of the following on the equilibrium of the above reaction? If the system, if this reaction is at equilibrium and we are bringing these four changes, what will be the effect on the equilibrium of this reaction? The first is increase of temperature. Increase of pressure is the second one. The third is addition of hydrogen gas. And fourth is addition of helium at constant pressure. And let us take these one by one. Now, increase of temperature. Now, when this kind of a situation is given to us, remember, the forward reaction is exothermic, as it is clear from the sign. Therefore, the backward reaction will be endo thermic it will be go when we are moving back from uh, product side to the reactant side it will be endothermic now increase in temperature means you are favoring which direction as it has been explained by me it will be what favoring the backward reaction because increase in the temperature will favor the endothermic reaction therefore increase in temperature increases the rate of backward reaction. So, the equilibrium will shift towards the reactant side. Okay. Now, let us take the second part. Increase of pressure. We know from the Lee Chatless principle the increase in the pressure at equilibrium in a reaction will shift the equilibrium to the side which will be having less volume because higher pressure means less volume or which will have lesser number of moles of the reactant substances. Now here on this side we have 4 moles of gases and on this side we have only 2 moles of gases. Therefore, increase in pressure, pressure will shift the equilibrium towards forward side. That means, rate of forward reaction gets increased. This is exactly this, the application of the leach atlas principle. Let us take the third condition. The third. Let us take the third part, which says addition of hydrogen gas. Now we know if we write the reaction quotient for this reaction, it will be ammonia's concentration square upon nitrogen's concentration upon hydrogen's concentration cube. Now, once this system is at equilibrium, of course, it is at equilibrium equal to K equilibrium. Once the hydrogen is added, the amount of the denominator will increase. This Q will become what? Therefore, on addition of hydrogen, this Q will become smaller than K equilibrium. Therefore, the system will move forward, the rate of forward reaction will get increased as it has been explained by the leach Adler's principle, so that more amount of hydrogen added is gets, it gets consumed in a much faster way, more of the ammonia is formed and the system again becomes, tries to become what? Having Q equal to K equilibrium. Therefore, 
रेट ऑफ फॉरवर्ड रिएक्शन गेट्स इंक्रीज लेट एस मूव टू दी द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस विच वॉज द एडिशन ऑफ हीलियम गैस एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर एडिशन ऑफ हीलियम गैस एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर रिमेंबर एज आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू द एडिशन ऑफ एन इनर्ट गैस हीलियम इज एन इनर्ट गैस एट कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम हैज नो इफेक्ट बिकॉज द प्रेशर गेट्स इंक्रीज टोटल प्रेशर गेट्स इंक्रीज बट पार्सल प्रेशर रिमेन्स द सेम no effect on equ on equilibrium but at constant pressure therefore volume will increase therefore as per lee chadder's principle system moves towards the side which contains more number of moles of the gaseous substance and as i as i have explained you we have four moles of the gaseous substance on the product uh, reactant side we have only two moles of the ga gaseous substances on the product side therefore the equilibrium will shift backward why because the volume will increase as we keep the constant pressure and we add inert gas an increase in the volume will make the system to move in the direction which contains more number of moles so the equilibrium will shift in the backward direction so this is how we solve or we apply the lee chatler's principle to solve the problems given on the uh, the basically on the lee chatler's principle